Hey there, aficionados. Tim with RockBeachAquatics.com. Well, I am going to talk to you about the dot .com. Uh, I said uh, last week that we were going to have a big announcement. It is finalized. <clears throat> we're super excited about it. Um, it's something I've been working on for a while. So Rock Beach Aquatics, as you know, the actual store, which I'm in right now, it's Monday. Uh, we're closed. Uh, that is, uh, this is the last Monday that we will be closed. We are going to seven days a week starting next week, March 1st. Um, our hours will be like the rest of the week, 12 to 7. We are also extending our Saturday hours from 11 to 7. So we're pretty pumped about that. Um, things have just been nuts. Um, we truly, truly appreciate all the support from everybody, all those RBA super fans who really do love having a quality product uh, that they can introduce into their aquarium. So. Um, Couple things, we are jam packed. So the store itself is pretty jam packed. Um, you know, we're making some moves, as you, uh, you know, I told a few of you uh, back there um, in the, um, the nano fish room. We're going to be moving some stuff out of there. But we were just, we've been cramped, and I've been wanting to uh, try to expand our space. So we we're going to take over some space next door. That didn't happen. Um, you know, and the dot com portion of it, you know, every video I say, uh, hey there, aficionados, uh, uh, Tim with rockbeachaquatics.com. So the dot com was something that um, I originally, from the beginning, uh, the entire business plan was all about. So I was building an awesome store that we could use as a backdrop for videos, etc., cetera, and uh, to share uh, those green things which I grow out downstairs. Um, all these gorgeous plants, green and red, etc. And this is just a handful of what we have. Um, you know, sharing them with the rest of the country. For those folks in areas where they only have big box stores or they even don't even have those, and they're limited as far as what they can get. So we wanted to uh, do that. But unfortunately, not unfortunately, fortunately for us, we've grown so quick that um, we ran out of room. So all the room that we have downstairs where we grow our plants out, uh, the quarantine room down in the lab, etc., cetera, um, is pretty much full. So. Uh, we were lucky uh, when I talked to, talk to my landlord about the possibility of us moving. Um, you know, I've been looking at buildings for the last month, uh, and if we were to move, we were going to go really big. But um, I'm like, God, you know, just to move everything and tear everything down, and I love the way the store looks, you know, was going to be really, really hard. So that was bottom of the list. That was like plan B, 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 like way down. So, you know, plan A was to try to work with what we have. So, and unfortunately, we couldn't grow this portion of it here. This is pretty much it for now, unless things happen next door. Um, you know, those folks ever decide to move out and go to a bigger space, we're gonna be taking that over. So that is a done deal. I'm not worried about that at some point down the road if it does happen. But we're lucky that about, oh, I don't know, a little more than just about 2,000 square feet. I think the main space is like 1,800 and then we have an entire basement area. A few doors down. So going that way, out the door, just a few doors down, uh, the folks are retiring after 30 something years um, and we are taking over that space. Dun, da, da, da. So super pumped. And what's gonna happen with that? Um, two things, or several things. We are moving um, all of our plank row out room, which is downstairs, is all going over there. And we're not only gonna bring it all over there, but we're gonna expand it like three and a half, four times. So we're going to have massive, massive tanks um, that are going to be going over there as far as 40 breeders that we're going to be growing our plants out in. Um, additionally, we're going to uh, ship fish. So uh, as you know, we brought in those beta systems. Don't really like them on the sump system that they're in. Uh, so we're going to be changing it around. And those are going over there on our automatic water change system. We're going to have one of those over there as well. And we're going to be putting our bettas over there. So that's going to hold 96 bettas. Um, we're gonna be shipping our bettas because I do have an amazing supplier of those. Uh, additionally, all our products, our lights, fluval lights, um, you know, our RBA superfood, our RBA fertilizer, plant fertilizer that's in the tail end that unfortunately I haven't like focused on getting um, packaged and bottled and all that, but we are working on that right now. So we're gonna, that's gonna be landing hopefully in the store in the next month or so. So that will be shipping out. Another thing that we've been doing here that not a lot of folks know, because I just haven't announced it because we don't have a ton of room, but we have a plant, or a, not a plant rescue, we have a turtle rescue. So I've been doing a turtle rescue, and 
Uh, that is downstairs. Uh, it's small, and of course, that's been taking up space. But that is going over to that building as well, and I'm building an awesome, what I'm calling Turtle Island. So it's going to be super cool. Um, again, this space is not going to be open to the public. Um, it's just going to be uh, for us. Um, obviously, we're going to be doing all the behind-the-scenes stuff there, the shipping, uh, growing out, etc. Um, but uh, we are going to be do, doing videos over there, so it gives me a lot more space. So I'm going to have studio space. We are moving my personal fish room, which is downstairs next to the lab um, here in the basement of the building. That is moving over there, and we're going to be turning that space here into more lab space. So we are going to basically double the size of the lab downstairs, So, which is super awesome. Hang on, i got to get some water. You wanted it raw. This is pretty raw. So wearing a hat today. I've actually been working on the space. We're going to go show you that space here in a second. But um, <clears throat> so yeah, so we're uh, moving um, the fish room over there, my personal fish room. Um, and then we're going to be doubling the size of the lab here. So I'm super pumped about that. Additionally, we're clearing out the area that we do all our plant grow our tanks in. That's, like I said, is going over there. And we're going to be... Um, getting ramping up for uh, koi season. So for all our awesome koi that we import and bring in, um, it's gonna be a little different. It's not, <clears throat> oh my God. Um, it's not going to uh, be like open to the public per se, because well, you know I don't have the room up here to put koi tanks anymore or koi tubs. So we're gonna have like six or eight of them are gonna be going downstairs and uh, like when folks want to come in and they're saying, hey, we're your koi, we're going to bring them down uh, and take them downstairs, So, um, which is super awesome. We also have another little storage area, like a little mini warehouse. It's like a 10 by 30 off site, not even here, that we hold tanks and all kinds of stuff. That is going, we're getting rid of that, and that's going to be consolidated over there. So this is huge. It's huge not only for us, uh, but for you, um, our RBA super fans, uh, the reason being, we're going to be able to bring in more and more stuff. So bigger inventory on things, um, which is super cool. So, and then one other thing in that other building, and I'm going to show you that in a second here. Um, we're going to be shipping our bettas, our plecos. Um, we're also going to be um, shipping out our African cichlids, you know, snails, shrimp, etc. And we have an entire room over there that's gonna hold about 50 tanks or so that we'll be doing all the shipping out of. So, you know, it's almost more or less like another set of quarantine um, tanks. So because the um, the lab down here and over there, obviously it's gonna sit a little bit longer for shipping, et cetera. So uh, the amount of uh, quarantine tanks is basically almost tripled in a way. Additionally, uh, as uh, um, some of you I've talked to, now that I've been kind of holding off because I wasn't sure what we were doing, now, this space right behind the 700, we're going to be putting in another 96 aquariums here in the store on our automatic water change system, which I put in a while ago as far as the drainage lines. Uh, we have that put in. And then that back room, the nano room, all that stuff is coming out, going over here. Uh, I do have that. I built that wall. We're moving our wood over there. We have more product that's going to be going on. That's, where is it? Uh, that wall over there. Um, and then that whole room is going to get another 48 tank. So we've got 48 here, 48 over there. I'm um, gonna be working on the beta systems. We've just had limited, limited space as far as what uh, I'm able to do. So and I've, like I said, I've been kind of holding off um, uh, because I wasn't sure whether or not we were gonna be moving. So uh, super excited, but yeah, let's hop over there and uh, go take a look at that space over there. Well, this is the space. Um, these folks that were in here, uh, were in here for quite a few years. Uh, I've been helping them actually just do a little bit of cleaning, taking out some stuff. But yeah, it's really cool. So there's I'm, there's another back section back along there that I'm going to show you what's going on. But yeah, so you kind of come in. We have the same type of window uh, that we have in our store. Now we're just a few doors down. Um, so yeah, you're going to come in. Obviously, this is, like I said, not going to be open to the public. But um, we're going to have just laying some stuff out now. The whole space has to get painted. Um, and then we got to do, obviously, the build out. But uh, we're going to paint first and get that done. But yeah, so we're going to have the shelving systems that are, we're going to use for um, to carry product. And we're going to have a couple more that are going to go over here. Um, 
Now I'm going to put some uh, blinds in the windows, but I do want to keep the light in here just because I, we're, like I said, we're going to use it as sort of a set. So we're going to do some plants along this area. This area here, let me step back. Um, this area here, we're going to be doing um, the turtle rescue area. So Turtle Island, it's actually going to take this whole corner up. So I'm really super excited about that. Um, this space here where that opening is, we're going to be putting up a wall. And then um, I've got a, um, you know, our packing station we're going to build here with monitor, etc. And then um, I'm going to do, I have a, obviously like a ridiculous amount of aquariums. Um, so what I'm going to set up on, you know, where this space is here, uh, we're going to put like one of uh, a couple of big tanks over here, some display tanks, just for some stuff that I'm going to work on. And then, you know, we have the capabilities of this product to be moving um, and put more tanks along here. But this is the window that's going to go into our office. Um, that's actually going to be my office. I know people have heard of that. But uh, we're going to put uh, keep the desk in there. And then the balance of the walls I'm going to use for um, my fish room. So I'm going to bring a bunch of tanks over uh, from downstairs in my fish room and uh, over. And we're going to call it, so that's RBA1. And this is RBA2, so that's kind of how I'm going to reference it from now on. Um, same thing with our team. So, yep, I'm going to put um, my flower horn. I know a lot of you, uh, I have my really, really big uh, red dragon. He's actually going to come over here, and I'm going to put him uh, a 90 gallon that's going to go like on this side, so in the window, so I can check him out from both sides. That area there, we're going to convert to storage for um, all our lights. We are putting a sink in over here. All this pegboard is going to be coming down. We're going to be putting in a sink, a uh, double sink over here for our water. And then this area, let me step back. Um, this area, so over there, we're going to have a bank of tanks. The tanks, because again, that's going to be all wall. So the tanks are going to go over to here on that whole wall, too high. And then we're going to come out. That's going to be gone over in the other area. They're going to come out. We're going to have a couple more tanks, uh, two rows of tanks there, front to back. And then this area here, which is kind of cool, that's what I love about the space. As we grow, we're going to be able to drop in a whole bank of tanks. Actually, this will keep 16 40-gallon breeders uh, for plants. So this is going to be our main plant grow-out area. Um, again, here's the office. Nothing crazy, but I'm going to put my desk up here, and I'll be able to check out my flower horn. And then the rest of these walls are going to be um, space for uh, my fish room. So let me come back here. Um, we actually do have a basement that's underneath this front section. So a huge basement. We're going to start stocking all our um, tanks, etc., over here as well. So then this room here, I love. This is going to be door closed. This will be our fish shipping room. So on that wall, I'm going to put our three beta systems. I'm going to take out the sump system and they're all going to be separate filtration uh, through our water change system. So we have a it's just going to get plugged in and we'll flush out the water. So those will be awesome. But uh, kind of cool. Already had a cabinet. That's going to be our wrap station for all the fish. We do have uh, like another big uh, storage room. This is where we're going to store all our shipping products, everything, bubble wrap, boxes, etc. cetera. Um, our light box is going to go over here. On that, I am keeping that. Going to put that there. That's where we're going to take our pictures of all the bettas and everything. But yeah, on this whole wall, which is pretty long, um, we're going to do a bank of tanks um, and then on that wall a bank of tanks and then which is kind of cool with this space let me step back a little bit um, we're going to be able to do um, another bank in the center so depending obviously as we continue to grow so you know I do make changes a lot um, as we grow you know I try to do what's better and better for us so um, but yeah super cool I'm so glad I found this I don't have to move uh, we don't have to uh, you know, rip everything up and do all kinds of stuff, but really is a great space. I mean, you know, you could put a store in this space alone. Um, obviously, I'm not going to do that because we need to, our store's already done. And But um, yeah, and there's a bathroom over there, so nothing too crazy. But yeah, I'm loving it. I think it's going to be super cool. Our official date is this coming up Friday. Uh, these folks, I think they said their last day is Thursday, so they're super great. They've been here a business, a local business for 30 years, which is amazing. Um, they're semi-retiring, not really retiring. They got some other stuff too. So, you know, business owners that do enjoy working generally don't just disappear and stop working. So, but yeah, really cool space. I can't wait to start working on it. Um, obviously, we're just going to paint it just to, you know, cover up some holes, etc. Um 
let's see. We also, uh, you know, I can't wait to, you know, put up that wall. It's just gonna be like a little faux wall, nothing too crazy, but just to kind of, you know, we'll have product on the other side, et cetera. So super pumped. I can't wait to show you, um, you know, I think I'm going to do videos as far as the building process of everything. The first thing I am going to do is that spot over there. That is going to be uh, Turtle Island. Yeah. So when I actually have Turtle Island done, um, you know, we'll bring those guys up over and start doing some building. So, all right. Well, okay. Um, just uh, stay tuned. Keep watching us. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, like us on uh, Facebook. And then, <clears throat> of course, follow us on Instagram. And as always, which now we're super pumped, 24-7, rockbeachaquatics.com. Uh, it's going to take probably a couple weeks, two to three weeks before everything is, you know, at least up there, the stuff that we're going to be shipping. Um, but yeah, maybe even a month um, at max, I'm hoping. But um, yeah, then we can start shipping everything and yeah, getting our stuff out there. So, all right, we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.